A successful football team is really all about the chemistry between the players. The Spartans did something this summer they've never done before to help bring the team together. We actually uh, tried something this year. We went up to um, Camp Greenbrier, uh, the youth camp, and we spent three days up there, you know, away from everybody. Uh, they got to basically get close to each other, you know, sleeping in bunks, sleeping in a um, cottage. So they had basically had each other and that, you know, we really as a coaching staff got to see, you know, our team come together, you know, and people that normally you didn't see talking a whole lot. You got to see them, you know, communicate with their teammates. So we're basically away from everyone. I thank the parents for trusting us to take their kids away from them for three days. But but that was a good experience for us. That was the first time we tried it. So and uh, so now they're talking about doing it again next year. Well, that bonding trip seemed to really pay off. The seniors on the team look strong, poised and mature. Coach Lee would expect nothing less. I constantly talk about building our culture here. They know what the expectations are. They know how we're supposed to um, act, know our behaviors, know our, our, our habits and everything else. So the culture is what we work on you know, every year. You know, not just football, you know, X's and O's, but we want our guys to be gentlemen, you know, in the classroom, gentlemen, you know, in the community also. We've had a lot of underclassmen stepping up, working out, working hard all off season. They really came to fill a role this year. I mean, a lot of them look up to me, so I got to do by action, not by words. It's definitely hard for them, but you just got to teach them and take them under your wing. They definitely uh, try to be like you, it seems like, and if you're goofing off, they goof off, so you got to definitely be serious. And with that senior leadership, the Spartans are working hard to win their season opener at home against James Monroe. First game's always the most important game, and um, you know, and that's the most important game on our schedule. Whether it was James Monroe or someone else, you always want that first game, you know, under your belt, get it with a win. That sets the tone for the rest of your season. Somehow, if it doesn't happen with the win, then you know what you need to learn for the next nine games. You know, learn from those mistakes. So, first game's always important. You always open up with a gut rivalry game, and that makes the football season, you know, that much more exciting. That's the only thing we've thought about all summer. They've got us past two years, and it's senior year this year, and it's time to put it on them. Paloma Villacana, Newswatch Sports.